So Rich Homie Quan finally is off a mill carton. And he said he got a million dollars if some a million. He said he got a mill if somebody can point out where he snitched on paperwork. He's out the mill carton. I'm just being funny in the sense of, you know, he's been missing for a while since that. He's that not out the mill carton. So he's not out the mill carton. He just I don't know who recorded that joint. But Rich Homie, Rich Homie. Now, nah, baby. Now, nah, listen, 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 listen. Thug. Got your puss ass terrified, my nigga. Because with thug, when you a thug got into it, you went in hiding. See, if you from Atlanta and you in the streets, you know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You know what's going on, bro. So you know if, if, if shit getting smacked, who's doing the smacking? Nigga like Rich Homie finna get out the way. He finna get out the way, bro. That nigga not finna be in the motherfucking way. That nigga finna get out the way. That nigga got quiet as hell. You know what I'm saying? He he dropped out. Never stopped going in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I promise. <laughs> yeah, I promise I'll never stop going in. Reloaded. And nigga, he got his ass reloaded to the motherfucking nearest train station. Sit down. So after he set his ass down for about a year or two and let Thug run it up the millions, soon as Thug caught that case, I knew it was going to happen. He, that nigga didn't wait two weeks, nigga. He, <laughs> that nigga start dropping back to back videos. Nigga talking about, mm -hmm. man, this nigga talk, talking about spin, spin again, spin again. What have you spent on, Rich Homie? Tell me what have you spent on? Not you spent on whatever microphone that you were talking about, thug and all that, bro. You gave a 30 minute tape. It don't matter who you gave that 30 minute tape to because I don't talk to my homeboys like that, fam. My homeboys, I don't talk to my homeboys like that, bro. You hear? I do not talk to me, don't talk like that, fam. I know so you way, weren't talking to no homeboy. You was talking to one no street detective. You was talking to a, a detective in a black tie and a white shirt. That what you were talking to, and he was he was writing it down. And you, bro, bro, you know what I'm saying, bro? You a habitual liar. They caught you lying only when you was on the podcast. You don't remember shit you said once, twice, third, fourth. You just a hoe ass nigga. I just I, you just a hoe ass nigga with good talent. You know what I'm saying? But you said what you said about Thug, bro. And you know, if the good Lord let that nigga come home, we is not fit in here rich, homie, no more. I'm going to speak facts. These niggas is going to go in hiding. Stop acting like Thug ain't that guy. Stop. We're not going to play like Thug is not that, that fella. Thug is that guy, man. He said, "God." He say, "Hey, man, tell that fuck nigga." He try to drop. We go. He go. I'm gonna drop on the same day. He drop. Say little dirt. You wanna put a verse on that? Don't even. Don't even shoot back at that nigga. Just drop that shit on my album. Yeah, man. So we. I'm not trying to hear what Young Thug Daddy talking about. Young Thug Daddy was just finessing because yeah. he, he did that the right way to keep the internet and everything out his son' business. Mm -hmm. That's why he's like now. Nah. He didn't tell. Well, yeah, he supposed to play it like that. He supposed to. He know what he doing. What's good, y'all? It's TJ the DJ. And this is Jet. Hey, man. Thanks for checking out this clip. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.